All right, you guys. Let's talk about these uh, covens in the tarot community. <laughs> so there's a lot of secrecy in the tarot community, you know? And so we're just going to uh, get straight into it, all right? Because we need to understand what's happened, you know? We need to get an understanding of how things have changed and why the covens and the tarot community are trying to make it look as if everything is the same. We got a tarot of sacred feminine here. Sis tall cut shit. And I'm the mouthpiece for sis, all right? <laughs> all right, y'all, let's do this shit. We got uh, four of cups, supported by the queen of cups with the chariot. So what I'm really picking up here is that uh, healers, AKA empaths, are overcoming every obstacle that has been thrown their way. So if you are a empathic, um, tarot reader, you have been highly targeted by a lot of low vibrational witches in the tarot community who um, have a large following, a large gathering. They're very influential. And um, all they simply doing is sitting there watching you winning and they're trying to figure out how the hell all they spell work ain't working. What I'm picking up with this four of cups they're starting to experience a lot of emotional disappointment, okay? So there's a lot of envy and jealousy going on around because how is it empaths can have everything that they want and still be able to manage it, all right? <laughs> it ain't that you can't do it. You just need to do the fucking shadow work, you fucking sociopathic, crazy-ass bitches. <laughs> Yo, I knew this shit was going to come out. The lovers. Shit, I knew this shit was going to come out. Yo, I had a feeling some of these funky ass people in the tarot community are in narcissistic relationships. I motherfucking knew it. Yeah. My intuition is like that. We got the lovers. We got the seven of swords. We got the six of cups. And we got the uh, eight of cups. So these funky ass people in covers in the tarot community do not know how to get out of karmic situations. That is why they're targeting empaths who are tarot readers. So basically, they're, they're aging fast too. That's why they're trying to do anti-beauty spells against, you know, naturally beautiful empaths. They are in toxic situations with third-party narcissists. <laughs> and uh, basically, these covens in the tarot community started targeting healers. Whatever kind of healer you are, because <laughs> you know how to actually walk away from karmic cycles. But what eats these covens up in the tarot community is that they know how to basically um, be able to give accurate ass information about what's going on with high vibrational people. Yo, and then they be trying to figure out like, yo, why is it I'm not experiencing this? Why is it all I'm getting all these high vibrational readings, but I'm not experiencing this? Imagine somebody who's saying, I want you to be a millionaire, but I'm okay if I'm not a millionaire. I'm just happy to be your friend. Now, you hear the bullshit behind that? Yo. <laughs> so these funky ass covers in the tarot community are basically trying to join forces with the same people they was doing um, a whole lot of um, demonic rituals on. Yeah, they trying to basically join forces with them after they basically went above and beyond 
to basically destroy your foundation. And being that people in the tarot community are highly aware of chakras and, you know, um, are highly aware of chakras and alignment, they have been used by other individuals to basically do the magic work to target all of your chakras. Real shit, y'all. That's why you have a lot of lower vibrational witches who are paid a lot of money to do death spells. But the death spells, and they charge a lot of money for these death spells too, y'all. <laughs> Cause what? They targeting your what? Your motherfucking sapping chakras. They reading into all the shit about you. Now let's see, if you have vibrational, are they able to actually tap into your energy? Because if they're not able to, and um, these people are well-versed in what they do, and they have a uh, reputation for being the one to go to, to basically fuck somebody's shit up, mm, mm, mm. let's get an understanding, baby. Sis, if a lower vibrational witch is a... Uh, trying to target a high vibrational person's uh, chakras, what happens when they uh, actually seek to know information about that person? Let's get it, baby. And then I want you guys to join me for the next tarot card. Information about your tarot reader. <laughs> Yes, baby, I do this shit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't got the cards yet. Information about the tarot reader. You're subscribed to. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I know. Secrecy and solidarity. Shit, I got a big mouth. I talk too much, don't I? But sis, what happens when they really try to break past those energetic boundaries? We got the uh, two of swords, the knob of cups, supported by the nine of pentacles, three of cups, and the uh, ace of swords so what happens is they start getting a whole bunch of confusing ass um ass information and basically whatever it is they're experiencing that is the information that they get because this knob of cups you know page of cups this is a uh immature emotional body state you know what i mean so if your emotional intelligence is not involved, evolved and you're in the psychic tarot community, it is easy as hell to psychically attack you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I kid you not. If you are a low vibrational witch and you are... Uh, are emotionally unstable, but you work hard to hide it because you don't know how to, um, like a lot of these tarot readers on the YouTube community, in the YouTube community, they in some karmic ass situations, but they're not willing to break out of it. And the ones that do break out of it are highly targeted. That's why they join covens, you know? And it looked good to the public because you got a whole bunch of sexy ass, intuitive, quote unquote, intuitive people together who seem high vibrational. So this was, you know, show, well, you know, we got power over here. I got a dark skin, a light skin. I got a red bone, shit like that. You know, I got a purple bone and we all some fly ass, sexy ass witches up in this bitch, right? Because a lot of people like that witchy type shit, right? But what people don't know, <laughs> a 
But we about to get into that shit, ain't we? Ain't we? Ain't we, though? There's a whole lot going on in these covens, okay? So basically, whatever is going on in the tarot reader's life shows up in the cards because they are trying to under, they basically trying to break into a healer's energy. And a healer is a whole ass mirror. Think about it. So when, instead of getting re information about the healer, they get information that, you know, the healer has money coming, and but they get their truth. Uh-huh. See, this is what they don't like. So this is why they do a whole lot of nasty-ass spell work, and they target them seven chakras. See, um, people who are unevolved in the craft, they just like, they just put the intention out. I want such and such to experience such and such, blase, blase. But people who deep into the craft, they uh, are high knee deep if, if with the motherfucking moon cycles and the chakras and shit like that. And this is why people pay them the money to basically what? Fuck people up. So what's happening in these covens, sis? What's happening currently in these covens? Because we about to put their business on black. You shouldn't be targeting me, bitches. Four of Cups, supported by the what? <gasps> the Queen of Cups, supported by the Three of Motherfucking Swords, just as I thought. These bitches going through it, and they trying to act like they getting through it. They are being emotionally fucking drug. That's why you won't notice these surface ass level low vibrational topics what's the gossip what vibe are you giving off <laughs> um stuff like that healers are putting out topics where that you need to know see when a healer does tarot spirit says hey i need you to put out this information because if we keep going along this timeline there's gonna be a whole lot of generational curses repeating and a whole bunch of people hurting each other and then you have people in the tarot community who love the attention they get and you know they try to act like i'm not here for the people but the messages they were supposed to have put out a long time ago they never put out because they let fear get the best of them because they was afraid of what would come when they put out the motherfucking real real they knew that they would be highly psychically attacked. But the thing is they already been highly psychically attacked because they're emotionally unstable. And then when they're doing these death curses, you know, targeting people's chakras, um, and you know, they, they, they go hard with that shit too. That's what I'm picking up. They're really doing it on themselves. So that's it for that one. And join me for the six pile pick a card title, information about the tarot reader you're subscribed to.